guys. What is up? There's the housekeeping on the golf cart. I don't have to do any of the housekeeping. <laughs> and you're gonna cover and cook on low for six hours. That's it. <laughs> you guys see that? Isn't that cute? Bye, Racy Red. Did you have a fun time? Yes, I did. Packed. Barbecue. We'll be right there. Just kidding, a. Eh? <laughs> okay, so we made it here. It's uh, six o'clock. Sun is going down. We're gonna head up to the lodging area. Isn't the sky just gorgeous? So, gonna check in and then go to uh, go to the. TLF, Temporary Lodging Facility. Okay, so now Burger King? Yeah, did you want me to drive? Yeah, you can drive. Well, we're here at Edwards. Bedroom here, bathroom, and then we have the master bedroom. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving like an MTV Cribs <laughs> room tour, but this is kind of kind of it. Listen. Kitty's gonna sleep with her mommy, huh? Yes, you are. This is we call this kitty resort. She loves this place. So she usually sleeps there. And then I usually go back and forth. Hi, kitty. Well, good morning. It is the day after. Slept well. Uh, woke up to, <laughs> that's what you saw, the Waverly. Um, I said to begin the day here on base. So now we're just gonna get Queen G. We didn't really bring too much out from the car. So um, it's gonna be real easy. Just gotta get her up and then get her in the Denali and then we'll go to the lodging checkout and we'll head back out on the road. Because you don't know who you're gonna meet. Who you're gonna meet. So, 
They do have pet crates available here for your use if you need them. And then they have tons of storage. Look at all those shelves. It just works perfect for us, huh, honey? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a big enough garage to fully fit our SUV. It's a gorgeous day out here in Mojave. As you can see, there's some, I don't know what kind of clouds those are. Anybody know? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and then there is, as you see, someone's in the park over there with a baby stroller taking a walk. It's just really nice. We heard some planes and jets flying over earlier. TLF lodging here is really nice. It's it used to be really cheap, but they doubled it in the last couple of years. I don't know if it's because of, you know, the whole pandemic kind of thing. I don't know. But we have about, I think about five hours from here to get home. So we're gonna stop hopefully at Starbucks or something, get some coffee. Bealer, Bealer, coffee. Ooh, check out that guy. He's four by fouring. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't get stuck, dude. Don't get stuck. <laughs> hey, one good thing about having a vacation is there's the housekeeping on the golf cart. I don't have to do any of the housekeeping. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, I gotta go get Queen G. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're going to be. All right, we made it safe. Mm -hmm. High five. <laughs> there you go. Had a good time, huh? Yes, we did. It's like, praise the Lord. We are here. It's so weird when you haven't been in the house for a while. Uh, my plants, they survive, but we have our neighbor fam. They kept coming over, checking on things. You know, now we're going to start unloading. As soon as we start unpacking, we're grilling up a steak and check this out. I had to do a harvest real quick because it's gonna rain tomorrow, so I hurried up and got lots of pretty looking tomatoes still, so. Let there be light, let there be light. Went to Costco trying to stack up, <laughs> stack up, stock up on stuff from Costco. And um, yeah, just trying to get the house back and organized <laughs> like this mm -hmm. need to go as long as it can mm -hmm. i'm gonna cut it well always always i have to measure it and oh, see it if it's the, the right size. size good job ellie great I'm gonna do a crock pot meal today with my fix it and forget it cookbook. So basically you just need like either a baby back country style, short ribs, or just regular beef ribs like I have right here. I just need to cut them up. You just need some salt and pepper and onion and one bottle of barbecue sauce. So simple, I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna stick them in the broiler and brown them just a little bit. A white onion I'm only gonna use half because I only have three pieces of the beef rib but if you're gonna have at least up to three to four pounds of meat then you definitely want to use the whole onion at the bottom ribs on top and then place the other rest of the onions on top you'll see these didn't take very long to get brown the rest of the onions barbecue sauce 16 to 24 ounces use whatever you have Then you're gonna cover and cook on low for six hours. That's it. Look at that, right off the bone. Oh, there goes my corn. Serve it up, cut it up. Ooh, so, so good. We're making room. I take down our garden. I put the um, growing table over there. I only have these tomatoes here, but as you can see, 
they're still harvesting. So lots of green tomatoes still. I mean, look at these. So we're just gonna transfer them over. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Supposed to help Jay. So we're gonna take all of these off. I moved a lot of the tomato plants over there towards that fence. Added some seed, I just gotta add some soil to it. Haven't started anything for my winter and fall garden, only because we're in the middle of lots of renovation of our house outside, which I need to do another laundry chit chat, I guess, huh? My poblano pepper. Just trying to see what it can do before I take it out. But yeah, I'm telling you, this garden was, it's like the Energizer Bunny. It keeps going and going and going. <laughs> it's about a little bit right before seven. There's Bubba. <laughs> but look at that. It's, isn't that pretty? It's like the sunrise, but it's reflecting the pink and orange all throughout here. I don't know if you can really see that. If it's picking that up. Probably when I move the camera like this, you can kind of somewhat see the tent. But it's weird. It's pretty though. Good morning. <laughs> it's a been Here at the Alameda County sure. Fair. <laughs> this is my favorite part, the garden area. So pretty. It just opened three to 10 and it's three. the succulents mom this one girl I follow on YouTube she won so many ribbons oh, I like blue. oh yeah blue purple I'm sure we probably could have gotten our lemons in there fire crazy cucumbers I could have won something Next year, I think I want to. I want to try it. What do you think, Ken? Should I try it? Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big lemon. Oh wow, that's a huge lemon. Look, mom, that's a huge lemon. Yeah. <laughs> that's like. Here's my hand. I don't know if that. <laughs> First place. That's crazy. <laughs> Dollar Tree didn't have the cute little Halloween bags and I think I donated the rest of them that I had. Yeah, too much decluttering D. Went to the Dollar Tree, got some sandwich bags from the attic when I was decluttering. I found that I had three of the Halloween sticker books. I thought I'd just kind of Halloween them. We don't get that very many trick-or-treaters. So I think this is gonna be way more than enough. So that is for Halloween. Almost eight o'clock in the morning. I purchased Alley Cat Cat House for shelter because when we had that one storm, 
That was crazy. Jay's gonna go ahead and assemble that for Allie this morning. Kitty's there. We were all cuddled up on the couch. And Allie is right there. <laughs> it's gonna rain again. I wanted to make sure that she has some shelter. <laughs> there it is. Guys, what is up? <laughs> it's the day after Halloween, and I gotta be honest with you, we had more trick or treaters last night than we have ever had <laughs> since we've been there. That was cool. The bad thing is that we almost ran out of candy. It was like towards the last couple of doorbells, it was like we had to give one piece out just so we can stretch the candy bowl a little bit more. But um, anywho, I hope you guys had a safe Halloween. I can't believe Halloween is now done and over with. Next is Thanksgiving. Woohoo! <laughs> but I think a majority of us are like so ready, like bring on Christmas. Or am I the only one thinking about that? Um, for once, I'm like really, really looking forward to decorating for Christmas. However, I don't know if I want to just skip over Thanksgiving. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. As you can see, I'm here in our SUV and I'm at the grocery store. <laughs> I spent some time on the couch this morning, sipping my coffee, had Kitty, of course, on my lap. We start off that every single day. She loves to cuddle in the mornings. Jay is home today and he was making Alley Cat the shelter the little cat house so I need to go down to the pet store and maybe get some straw or something to lay down on the bottom but um, anyways getting back to being on the couch I was clipping my electronic coupons on the grocery store app so I can save some more money, see what's on sale, made my grocery list, kind of a meal plan in my head. I haven't really thought it completely all out, but I do know what I need. If you are new to my channel, welcome so much. I so appreciate you clicking on that subscribe button. If you have not done so already, I am a variety channel, so I do a little bit of this and that. Vlogs every week, new video, every week. I'm going to be doing decluttering every Thursday in November. At least I can commit to that, you guys. One decluttering video a week. We don't know about December. I'm not too sure if I can do Vlogmas or not. I did not do Vlogtober for the first time, you guys, <laughs> only because, as you saw, we were out traveling, kind of like why I'm here at the grocery store. I'm a little bit out of certain things already. I did an inventory of my pantry. I did not film it. I am so sorry. We did go to Costco. We stocked up. We got some paper products and some chicken, some ground beef and all that. And we used our food saver, which I still need to get that video out. When I go in, grab some things like milk, butter, cereal, coffee, coffee creamer, fruits, veggies, all that good stuff. These are 99 cents. Of course, all the beef vegetable is all gone. No more minestrone. Hmm. These are really good if you guys haven't tried them. The Progresso. Send help. There's no caramel Starbucks coffee left. <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, they got holiday blend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Grocery shopping in the rain. They have a new bagger with disabilities, which I'm all for. Poor guy. <laughs> the cashier was trying to be super, super patient, but she was losing her patience. Anyways, grocery shopping done. Gotta get dry. Here is my haul. I'm gonna try a new recipe. It's gonna be some chicken ranch enchiladas. Sounds interesting. And these were on sale for $1.99, so I got a bag of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Russet potatoes, an onion, bell pepper, because I'm thinking about maybe making some meatloaf. The Progresso, like 
I showed you guys these were on sale for 99 cents so I got creamy chicken noodle I never really had creamy chicken noodle before our favorite is the progresso chicken and rice I like to do soup and salad once a week I'm gonna get back into that and I also got two of the vegetable a loaf of 100% whole wheat bread to go with the chicken ranch enchiladas I'm gonna use the southwest style salsa just sounded good, looks good. These are on sale two for four, so I got some broccoli, and then I'm also gonna try another new recipe, the tuna casserole on my Pinterest. I'm gonna probably do that in my meal planning video. The recipe calls for the peas and carrots. Butter was on sale, so I like to always keep two in my refrigerator. Let's face it, holiday baking. I'm in the mood to bake cookies, and I always like to have cream cheese just in case. Two cans of the pieces and stems of mushrooms, milk, some bananas to go with the Cheerios. Those were on sale for only $1.49, so that was cool. Mom's Raisin Bran Cranberries. Jay's gonna make some stuffed artichokes for tonight. Two cloves of garlic, because I don't have any since we came back from Vegas. Coffee creamer, but I got the one in the zero sugar. I'm trying to watch my sugar intake, not like I have a problem. I just like to make sure that I keep it in check because diabetes does run in our family. I just like to be mindful. I'm out of taco seasoning and Costco was out of it too. And so I'm in a crunch and I need it for the chicken ranch enchiladas. I went ahead and got this one here. This was $5.99. I needed cheese because I made lasagna last night. I used up all of the mozzarella and Parmesan. So I got one more Parmesan and the Italian style blended cheese. These were on clearance and these are the creamy granola bars. Six peanut butter and chocolate chip. Then there's six chocolate chip and six s'mores. Actually, these were less sugary than the granola bars so in a dollar 77 on clearance i should have grabbed another box but only i wanted to see how they taste first some eggs because i'm out of eggs and for today for queen g and i i haven't had thomas <laughs> english muffins like oh my goodness forever i remember my mom used to always get these this is a cinnamon and raisin i figure i'm gonna go ahead and toast up two and then i'm gonna freeze the others just for, you know, another time. Oh, and then check this out. This is from Mar Harvest, our Crimson Sweet Watermelons. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to our next door neighbor fam, Oneida, and then I'm gonna cut this up for tonight. And it was raining, as you guys saw, I was coming out of the store. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting all of this all put away. And let me show you Alley Cat's house. <laughs> you guys see that? Isn't that cute? She took off. I don't know where she's at. Hopefully she found shelter somewhere. And when she comes back for some food, I'm hoping she'll be curious and see what's inside. Jay placed some newspaper in there. I didn't have a chance to go put some straw in there or buy straw yet. We'll see. Mm, she's not leaving it, so that's a good thing. She's kind of sniffing it out like, hmm. She ate in there and then... That's good. But she was checking it out. She's sniffing. Well, come on, alley cat. You go in there. Okay, next time I'm going to put the food in the house. There he is. So instead, she decided to go here because it's dry. Alright. She's like, um, is this a trap? It's not a trap, Alley. <laughs> there she goes. Now she's eating. Well, now she knows what's in there. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs>